Y'all, you gotta check this out. I just scrolled past this, I got a copy. We're gonna dig into it. The video's right here. Snap. It's going okay. Then it rotates on the C, starts feeding in, and then boom. You can see all of that build up. That's what happens when you've got a buildup of stress inside the tool here. And all of the stress is plunging out once the aluminum gets thick enough and then you get a massive, massive nest. This is the first sign. Things aren't going well. And then we start plunging into the other side and a couple things happened, right? You can see here, we had a bunch of buildup inside of the slot all of the chips got nowhere to go we also have damage to that tool most likely it chipped a flute it cracked a flute something was going on and then you have the exit stresses right anytime that you've got a tool you have the stresses when it enters the material you have the stresses when it exits the material and if you're not accounting for all of that and the impact that has on your machining process you're gonna have a bad time much like these people here with the exploding tool because boom it's gone again right now what do you do if you get into this situation great question so the first thing you need to look at is the style of end mill that you're using if you're using something that's general purpose and you're going that hard and fast in aluminum you're going to have problems with chip evacuation because it's just not made for the aggressive cut you're going there's not enough room in the flutes it's going to impact it's going to explode right some other things to consider this looks to be a live tool right this appears to be a live tool this appears to be a lathe main spindle hopefully it's main spindle not sub spindle sub spindles can introduce other issues uh, they typically have less torque they have worse position holding they have other things going on um, but let's say this is the main spindle let's say this is a live holder these holders if they're brand new on newer machinery not so much of an issue however more likely this is an older block and it's been beat up so it's got worn out spindle bearings there's a ton of things that are going to introduce into play and allow for that tool to be pushed back and then have it slap forward and it's going to create a lot of catastrophic failures. Uh, the other things you could do is maybe the end mill that you are programming, maybe that end mill is way too aggressive for the machine tool that you're using it on, right? If you have a tool that can really take the RPM, can really get an aggressive feed rate, however, you're in a 6K limited, many, not all, but many are limited to 6K in the live tooling. Now you've got an RPM limit, so you're not able to activate those coatings, reduce your chip binding and all the other factors, and you're going to have a really aggressive feed rate, right? If that was in a, like a, a side lock, or if it was in like the, uh, the Regofix power grip system, and it was in a Cat 40, a Cat 50, an HSK spindle, you would have a lot more rigidity into your machine. Think about a mill, right? Those giant tables, they are there to provide rigidity for the cut. So you can take these really aggressive cuts. So if you're stuck putting it in a machine that's got the older spindle like we see here, then the main thing to remember to consider is to program for the machine that you have. Not the machine you want, but make sure you are programming for the machine you have. All right, so these are just some of the things to consider. If you've found yourself in a similar situation, now you've got some different things to try, right? So look at the rigidity of the machine that you're using. Look at the rigidity of the tool holder that you're using. A collet's not great for this, for the record. It's, if you're heavy hogging with a collet, reconsider. Look at some other tool options. There are a lot of them out there. Collet's suck at side loading okay especially as they get worn out there's a lot of different factors that come into play let's be real not everyone watching this is going to have brand new machines and brand new tools and you still got to make things work so hopefully this helps and gives you if you've got questions let me know i am here to give you answers because i want to keep your spindles turning and earning